In today's Madden 21 video, we're going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best plays in Madden NFL 21. We're going to be talking about why it's one of the best plays. We're also going to be talking about some of the takeaways from it that you can apply to your own playbook to help you beat more defenses in Madden. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level, teach you how to make Madden Ultimate Team coins, teach you how to get the most out of your team in Madden Ultimate Team, and also teach you tips and strategies tactically in practice mode and play setups that you can use to really um, beat the competition. So hopefully you're excited to jump in, and if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. This is a play from the Gun Trips Formation. This specific play I know can be found in the um, in the Cardinals uh, playbook. It can also be found in the, um, the Panthers playbook. And what we're going to be looking at here specifically is why this is such a good uh, cover three beater. We're going to be going over a couple of different things within this. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited to jump in, but we're first going to focus in on how, why this beats uh, cover three. So I'm going to come out just in a standard uh, cover three out of the dollar. Let's see if I can find cover three sky here. And this is gun trips. Now, what I want to tell you right now is you're going to see that really you want to have your, your fastest wide receiver in this position right here. Um, but we're also going to go over something a little bit unique about this route against man coverage, which is going to require you to have a good route running receiver like a Devontae Adams. So anyway, we're going to put Devontae Adams on the right. We're going to put Equanimous St. Brown on the left. And then we're going to put Marquez Valdez Scantling here. And then at tight end, I like to put Robert Tanya. Now, the play of fate stops. I've talked about this a lot. We're first going to show why this is such a good cover three beater. In my opinion, why I think it might be a better cover three beater than really any other uh, cover three beater in the entire game as far as consistency goes. So uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to back the ball up. And I just want to run this play, and I want to show you kind of some takeaways, some different things that you're going to see. So I'm going to run the play, and I'm going to take a sack, and then we're going to talk kind of about why this play does what it does. So snap of the ball. I'm just going to drop back here, and you're going to see I'm just going to sit in the pocket and I'll just throw the ball away what I want to, what I want you to watch and notice is I want you to notice this um, this issue on the left side of the field that really plays into this so um, the deep blue here is coming from left to right okay which is actually an advantage to the defense it's coming from left to right which is actually an advantage watch this matchup right here this fade stop route you see that he's gonna hold see that right there see how that fade stop route is gonna hold the deep third Look at this back corner right here. He's running wide open. You see there, that's an easy pass against the cover three, probably for a touchdown. And we can throw the ball right about in here and you can get that animation. Now look on this side. So watch this cover three corner. He doesn't, see how he bails? Isn't that interesting? See how he bails, he doesn't stay with the fade stop? That's an interesting takeaway as well. Another thing real quick is if you watch the fade stop, you see here that this corner is able to get back on this, and this is a standard purple zone, and he's able to get back on this. As well on this side, you see the standard purple zone is able to get back on it as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple adjustments I really like to do. The first one is to smart route both fade stops routes. Right, just smart route both fade stops routes. And the reason I like to do that is because against the zone coverage, what you're going to find is these fade stop routes are actually really, really good check down reads. And if you throw them, if you, if you pass lead them, or I'm sorry, if you, if you hot route them to smart routed, what that's going to allow is they're going to get into a unique window of the field. Uh, and you'll see right here, Aaron Rodgers can kind of get the ball out there to Devontae Adams. Now, what I want to do is I want to pair this with another route concept. And if you have a backfield master, I would be putting this guy on a shoot flat, like a little table route. But because I don't have a backfield master, I'm just going to put him on a swing route to the right. And what you'll see here is this is going to hold that purple zone, and you can pass lead this down into the inside. At least I think you can. <laughs> we'll show you this from. Uh, we'll show you this from. Part of this is also because the cover three. So if you shade coverage over top out of this, um, then they won't press what you'll see here this is the throw that I want you to really get comfortable making that right there 
in my opinion, is the best cover three beater in the game. And the reason it's the best cover three beater in the game is because there's really nothing, um, there's no zone from a cover three perspective that's going to help you stop. There's no way to set up a cover three that's going to allow you to, to not have to worry about this. Right, you're seeing I'm shading the coverage over top. Now, uh, one thing that the defense can do is they can back their coverage up. And what you'll see here is if he backs his coverage up, sometimes that deep blue will go. And that's part of why I smart wrap the fade stops. Because you want the fade stops to go deep. And instead of going to about 10 yards, they're going to go to about 20 or 30 yards. And that is just going to give you much, 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 much more of an opportunity. You see there the you see there the, the the corners are playing those those fade stop routes. But we're gonna come back to those in just a moment. Right now, what I want you to focus on is another hot route that I've been testing out is taking Tanyan right here and just putting him on a standard streak. And what you'll see here is you see how the corner runs with him. Now, why this is significant is it's gonna create an even bigger window for Valdez Scantling to get over the defense. So if the defense is in a, let's say they're in like a, you see here I can inside pass like this. Now I wanna show you a defense that you're probably gonna face if you haven't already faced it. And that is a defense where they take ball safeties, they put them on hook curls, and then they take a little linebacker and they put him on a deep middle. And let me show you what happens when you do that route combination right there with that streaked Tanyan, what it's gonna allow for your offense. You're going to see here that you actually will have a pretty significant step on him. And what that's going to allow, what Tanyan's route is going to do, is it's going to pull the middle third from the right, from the, uh, from the uh, middle linebacker. And it will further open up uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling. You're going to see here, he's going to get that cut and gets way over the top of the defense. Easy money cover three beater so it's really really good against cover three right um, but the issue is what if they use her what if they use her MVS's route then what's gonna be open well that's why I like to take the running back and either put him on a swing route or an option route because most of the time they're gonna forget about the running back on this play and you'll see here cover three you'll see here I can playmaker him to the right See how the defense kind of goes with him there? Now these fade stop routes are actually, and, and one other thing you can do is you can actually wheel the running back too. And you see how see how that see how that purple zone goes with the wheel route. So what that means for me on offense is I can easily begin to work this route combination on the right side because watch, he's gonna go with him, and then I can I can get the ball to Devontae Adams. These fade stop routes are, are really, really effective. Um, but what we really need to understand first and foremost with this play concept specifically is the idea of how do you leverage everything this these two routes right here have to offer against zone coverage. So to do that, I'm going to shift over to a defense that you're probably going to see as a result of stopping this play. And that is some type of cover two shell over the middle of field. So this is a cover two. And watch how these routes will progress against the cover two. You're going to see that that deep half is going to get over there, and MVS is no longer really an option. Good. Let's jump into instant replay and talk a little bit about what's going on. While we're doing that, if you haven't already jumped in my community Discord, go ahead and do that. Discord's a great communication platform that allows our whole channel to be able to connect with one another. And so if you haven't, haven't checked that out yet, there's a link in the description that will allow you to do that. So this right here, you're going to see, look at this deep half. Notice, now notice where separation is. And part of the reason we use the Patriots in practice mode is because I want to test these concepts. Uh, and you see here, the mid read is going to go with MVS, um, which is fine. But what you'll see here is there's a window to throw this ball. It's just, I can't get it over top. It turns more into a crossing route. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back out of practice mode and we're just going to test this out. Um, or, or not out of practice, we're back out of instant replay here. And we're just going to test this out right here. So snap of the ball. And you should see MVS be able to come over. And it was a little bit too 
a little bit too high. What you'll see is you should be able to get that ball underneath the yellow zones. Um, or I'm sorry, underneath the deep blue zones. Right when he cuts inside, right there. You see he's got that inside position right in there against cover two. Right in there. Now what most people will do is most people are going to somewhat user this route. Um, and you'll see that here. And so what it's going to force you to do as the offense, it's going to force you to get this over on a, a unique window right in here. That's actually where you can get that diving animation, which is very, very effective against the zone coverage. So now let's take a look at cover four. Cover four probably gives us the most amount of issues in my opinion. But what you'll see here, because it's got that deep safety, you see how the outside quarters is, is and they're right there, the because of Devin McCourty's abilities, it makes him play this a little bit better. But what you'll notice is in cover four, um, it's a little bit harder to get the one play. You see, see how that safety, see, see how you can get back on that. So really what we have to ask ourselves is what do we, how do we get that left side safety out of the way against cover four while still maintaining the integrity of the play against cover two. And really what it comes down to is just throwing the ball at a different point. And what you'll see here is if I wait in the pocket right there, passing hard left. Instead of trying to get a one play, I'm going to get a nice possession catch. Especially if I've got an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, I'm going to be able to consistently make this throw against the cover four defense. You'll see. Right when he comes underneath him, pass lead to the left, click on, and you see you're going to be able to fit that ball in to a pretty unique little window. One other thing you can do if you're facing with uh, faced with a lot of cover four is you can take this route right here and put that far left guy on the in route. And what that'll do is you see how, and this is what I want to stress about this route. This route is, is what I call, and part of the reason it's so good, it's a long developing route. What that means is you can throw it at multiple points in the, in the cut. And so if you get him over here, you see here, I can get him out there, you know, by and large. Now, one thing you can do is if you take, let's say you take 85 here and just put him on a smart route and in route, like you're tied in. This might help a little bit with pulling that safety down underneath. Pull him down right there. But you see how you can get this in. Because it's such a it's it's a really, really long developing crossing route. Now what I want to do is show you this against man. You see that it has about three cuts that it will take against man, and you see that it actually beats man-to-man -man fairly well. Um, it it beats man-to-man -man even better, especially like let's say they're in like, let's say you're facing something like this. This is the um, meta coverage where you shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. And watch this route. Watch what this does. You see here, I can lob this up, click on MVS, and Jonathan Jones does have 95 speed. But if, and I want to show you why I can do this, I can actually, if I put Devontae Adams there or someone with better deep route running, You'll see this route absolutely will toast man-to-man -to -man coverage. So we'll come back out here and we're gonna put Devontae Adams in here. This is why I highly recommend if you're playing Madden Ultimate Team to make sure that you have players on your team that are over 90 deep route running if at all possible. And I would start there on offense. That's like the most important thing to me on offense to have players that can do just that. But what you'll see here so I'm gonna run the meta coverage, man align, all that jazz with these coverages here. And take a look at what happens with Devontae Adams' guy. See, he's gonna beat him by about, I don't know, probably 30 yards. I mean, it beat him by about five yards. But because he has deep route running, and partially because he has route technician, this is absolutely gonna kill man-to-man -man coverage. And what man-to-man -man cover, like if they're in cover two, and they leave the safeties deep. You want to pass this straight up. And it's not always going to be there. But you can hit this route at multiple. Again, I come back to that again. It's a multi-window route. So if they're running cover two press, you see here, it doesn't react for me a little bit. But part of what you can do against cover two with the deep halves is you can, 
these smart router fade stops will pull those deep halves out of the way and you'll see there there's a nice little pocket for you to be able to deliver the ball now that's against two men under press and let me show you what happens if they do press so you can get a good look at it it will get pressed but it will get an instant it, you'll be able to get off the press and get out there so this is just a really really good route i wanted to spend a little bit more time talking about this and these fade stop routes we can get into these a little bit more i have to lab these up a little bit more but there is a way to make these routes basically um unguardable against a lot of defenses so it makes them a really nice check down read in combination with this really really powerful route to Devonte adams right over the middle here that's going to consistently just torch um just absolutely torch man to man now one thing you can try and i, I just don't think you're going to have enough space on the field yeah you see they kind of get out there um one thing you can try is if they're shading the coverage over top if you get that receiver on the left side taking him and putting him on just a straight streak to kind of run as a clear out and you can kind of get this in but uh, it's just not really there but anyways guys fade stops i just wanted to do a quick video on this um because and i wanted to give you a pretty decent amount of detail but i just think this is such a good play um it, it does such a good job this play is from our arizona cardinals offensive ebook there's a lot more in-depth breakdown in the ebook if you haven't already picked up the men 21 competitors guide um that's my full offense my full defense in one bundle and you can pick that up in the description of this video but there's a lot more breakdown in there and there's a lot more detail and a lot more scheming around this route but i just want to do a quick video and show why I believe this might be one of the best routes in Madden. It also might be the best cover three beater in Madden and something that I think you might want to consider adding to your playbook this year. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our YouTube channel. We've got a couple more videos coming for you this evening.